The journey for looking for a migration plugin for WordPress started when I wanted to move my website from Cloudways onto xCloud. So this took me a very long time because majority of the plugins that I was trying to use either failed or they were giving me a lot of errors. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate a website from one hosting company to another hosting company. So ahead of time, I already have a website here. So this is the website that I need to migrate onto this website. So as you can see, these are on two separate domains. So this one here is mynewsite.instawp.xyz and then this one here is no whatever zipwp.link. So what I did straight away is I went and got the premium version of WP Vivid. So let's go ahead and install this. So over here on this site I'm going to go in and click on dashboard and then we're going to go and add a new plugin. Next I'm going to click on upload plugin and then choose plugin. So here it is. WP Vivid. So this is the actual installer. I'm going to click on install now and then activate. Next, I'm going to paste my license key and then activate. So what I've done so far is I've installed the plugin on my first website that I need to migrate and we need to do the same thing on the website which we need to migrate to. So what you need to do over here is to just install a blank version of WordPress. So you don't need to install any plugins or anything. This is just a normal WordPress website. So we're going to go to dashboard. Next, we're going to come over here to plugins and then click on add new plugin. So just like how we did before, we're going to click on Upload, Choose File, double-click, and then click on Install Now. Next, we're going to click on Activate Plugin, and then I'm going to come over here and enter my license key and activate. So what we need to do here is to click on Install. So this now is going to install WP Vivid Backup Pro. Next, I'm going to come over here to the other site, click on Install. Okay, so the plugin has been activated on both websites. Okay, so the next step now is to go to our blank WordPress site and then click on import site. So I'm gonna click over here, generate key, and then I'm gonna click on generate. I'm gonna copy it. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my original website that I need to export, and then click on export site. Next, I'm gonna come over here to auto migration and then paste it click on save, and then all I have to do now is to click on export now. So what is happening now is all my files are now being exported from my current WordPress website to my new uh, hosting company, which has a blank WordPress website. So now you can see we have uh, congratulations, exporting the site succeeded. I'm just gonna say, got it. So the next step now is to come over here to our backup manager. So you can see this is what was imported. So all I have to do now is to click on it like that. And then I'm going to come over here to this little icon here and then click on restore. Next, I'm going to click on next step. So now it's telling us what it's going to um, restore. It's the themes, the plugins, the content, the uploads, and the WordPress core. I'm going to say restore now. Now remember, our website looks like this. So in a moment, our website is going to look uh, like our original website once I hit refresh. All right, so it looks like our restoration has been successful. So if I now come over here to my site, you can see now everything has been imported. Now to prove to you that this is a new site, take a note of this URL over here. So this is our original website. Now look at the URL. And then this is our new site. And again, you can look at the URL over here. So you're probably thinking that maybe this is the only way to um, migrate our website from a current host to a brand new host. Well, you can also do this manually by coming over here to a manual backup. So over here on manual backup, you can just click on backup now, and then you download this backup onto your computer. Now, when you go on to the other site, make sure it's a brand new WordPress install. So all you have to do, bearing in mind that you need to install WP Vivid on that uh, website as well. You can just upload it manually and then you can do it that way without adding your key like how I did in this example. So for example, over here, I can download all parts or I can just click on download. And then all you have to do now is to go to the new WordPress site on the new server. You go to a backup manager and then you want to 
upload. So you click here on upload, you drop the files in here. So let's go to our downloads and here it is. We're just gonna drag and drop it here. Click on upload. So now that the upload has completed, all you have to do now is to come over here to all backups. So here it is. And just like before, all you need to do is to click on restore and this will restore your backup onto your new website. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in WP Vivid, I have a link in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.